President Biden and Republican senators have agreed to keep negotiating a bipartisan coronavirus relief package that following a White House meeting last night. But the president made it clear he'll keep pushing for a large relief measure, even if he has to bypass the Republicans. With the latest from Washington, D.C., is Bloomberg government's Emily Wilkins. Hey, Emily, uh, President Biden wants about three times as much in the bill as the Republicans are offering, just about $600 billion from Republicans, $1.9 trillion from President Biden and the Democrats. Um, why is there and how is there such a large gap in these proposals? Well, a couple different things here. I mean, mostly it's because Republicans are worried about adding to the national debt, the national deficit. That's why they're trying to keep these amounts for these stimulus bills a little bit smaller. It's very similar to what we saw last time when Democrats were pushing, I think, a several trillion dollar bill. Republicans wanted much lower. Um, the bill that the Republicans have put forward, they do see it as a compromise. They see it as including a number of things that Biden has in his bill, those individual checks for American, extending unemployment insurance supplementals, but they're scaled down. They're a little bit smaller in most areas. And so I think Republicans are offering this as a starting point for a negotiation. Biden has certainly taken it that way. They will continue, continue to negotiate, but also very much on the table is that option for Democrats to simply pass this stimulus by themselves. It's something that we're seeing uh, those Democratic majority leaders in the Senate go ahead and tee up this mm. week. Um, but I think at this point, either option is still on the table. Okay.